Hey, y'all. It's Blue. How are you? Thank you for joining me on this first episode of Work the Root. And so I guess as this being my first episode, official episode, uh, I just want to share with you who I am, what I do, why I'm here, that sort of thing. So to make a long story short, um, I am walking in the gifts that have been parted upon me from spirit, from my ancestors, Orisha and whatnot. And I'm here to share that with you. So whoever is designed to hear or receive, spirit will bring you here. And I just ask for your help and your support. So that being said, um, work the root. Well, that goes into root work. Where does root work come from? Well, from my ancestry, my African ancestry, uh, they didn't have much. But what they did have was God, spirit. What they did have were Orishas. Some people uh, in the that uh, subscribe to Christianity may uh, resonate that with or align that with angels. Um, I grew up Kojic, Pentecostal Church of God in Christ. I still hold on to those things because in root work, uh, which the colonizers gave it such a bad connotation but they never stopped to uh, go to our ancestors when they needed us to work or needed them to work on their behalf. So for example, you had one of these slave masters whose crops weren't coming in well and they knew the power of it, even though they tried to strip us from it, they knew that we had those powers or that they had those powers. And they would go into the slave quarters and tell them the crops aren't coming in, Go to your, your God and do your magic. Well, it's not magic for us. It's a way of life. It's what they knew. And so they would lean on, number one, God and scripture and combine that with nature. So we're talking roots. We're talking herbs. We're talking trees. We're talking wind, water, the elements of the earth, things that God made with the, the hands and the creation that spirit made. And I use the word God because that resonates with a lot of people here in the U.S. That's the word that we gave or, or that was given in the text uh, that came through the King James Version of the Bible. But we already know I can go to a whole different diatribe about that. I digress. So our ancestors would take what they knew as far as the spiritual energy of spirit, of the most high, of God, Ola Damare, as I like to call, them, because that's what our Afri African ancestors called them, Ola Damare, right? And so they would take that, take nature and speak life, speak energy, speak whatever it is they wanted to um manifest with the, the com combination of these things. That is what is called root work. Now here in the um, these days and these days and times, they're doing the same thing, but calling it different things, right? Manifestation work. Um, uh, I don't know. They're calling it different things now. Uh, mindfulness, that sort of thing. But it all boils down to straight up root work, i.e., hoodoo. I am a hoodoo humanitarian. I remember the things that my grandmother used to do uh, as far as leaning into uh, the ground, getting her hands in the ground, getting different herbs and this, that, and the other that would heal us as she prayed over us and, and spoke scripture over us. Um, and these things stuck with me. And that's what I'm here to do. And that, and the reason I call myself a hoodoo humanitarian is because I want to bring the humanitarian part of that back into root work and hoodoo. For many, many hundreds of years, it was demonized by the colonizers, slave masters and stuff like that. A, because they couldn't harness it. It wasn't theirs to have. B, because it gave power. And the, the whole thing about colonization during those times in slavery was to strip of power. They will never celebrate anything that gives power. So what did they do? They demonized it to make you run from it. 
say you're going to go to hell and this, that, and the other, which couldn't be more further from the truth. If you look through the Bible, which I call the greatest spell book in the world, through the Bible, there's literally hundreds of, of examples and guidance on how to lean into spirit and lean into plant work and plant life and the elements to manifest the things that you need in your life. So that's the, the I guess, introduction, so to speak, to let you know who I am and from what what lane that I move in. All right. All right. So for today's topic, it's Friday. For most people, it's your payday. Got that money coming in and you get to pay your bills and this, that, and the third. But some of you may want to go have a little fun with that money, right? And that may mean you want to go ah, spend $20, $30 or even more if you've got it at the casino, at the slot machine. Now, I hear you. I'm hearing people already in my spirit. I can hear it. Oh my God, gambling is illegal or gam not illegal, but is a sin and this, that, and the other. Who said that? Are you referring when, when Jesus in the story went into the temple and saw them exchanging money and he overturned the tables? All he said is that his father's house would not be used for that. Didn't say it was going to be wrong. He said his father's house, you don't do it there, right? So what I want to do today is I want to give you uh, some little work because we're working the route to show you a way that could maybe help you help influence your chances of doing better if you are going to play the slots tonight. All right. So again, there, I like to always go to scripture. The scripture, first scripture that I want to give to you is Psalms 37 and 4, which reads, from the King James Version. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. My first suggestion would be to read that and say that out loud, because when you speak, words are forming action. You're putting a command, you're putting a, a request, a desire, a statement in the, in the universe, and it has to form. In the word, it says, in the beginning was the word, period. Everything starts and forms with the word, of course, after you have the thought. So I would, what I would do, if I know that I'm going to the casino, whatever, I'm going to say, delight thyself in, uh, into, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of my heart. So I'm thinking, let me delight myself in the Lord. Give God some praises. God, I thank you today. I thank you that my hands are blessed and that my finances are blessed and that you will use anything to bless me. You will use anyone to bless me. I thank you that you have the ability to do that. And I ask that my ancestors ride with me and shake these slot machines to fall in my in my um in my favor. So I would do that first before I even step foot into the casino, right? And so then what I would do next, where is that scripture? Scripture, um, Psalms 1 and 3. I thought I marked it, didn't I? No? All right, so let's go to Psalms 1 and 3. I hope that you all are having a great day. And if you would, please like and subscribe if this helps you, you know. Uh, that's what I'm here to do. And if this is a blessing to you, you know, blessings comes from giving. So feel free to buy me a coffee, uh, you know, buy me a sandwich or something. It's uh, Cash App at Blue Yemoja at Cash App. So the scripture for one and three, uh, verse one or chapter one, verse three for Psalm says, and he shall be like a tree planted by the by the water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he do, doth shall prosper. That'd probably be another scripture that I would read. And I would just man, man, uh, meditate on that for a little bit, right? That, you know, he's going to be sturdy, a tree planted by the waters. And in his season, his leaf shall not wither. My money is my leaf. My leaf shall not wither. And whatsoever he does shall prosper. So whatever I'm doing, I'm going to prosper in some kind of way. Whether it's prosper 
when I go to the slot machine that I don't lose all of my money, that's prospering because you're not in the red. Is it, or maybe it's um, that when you do play, <laughs> you hit the big jackpot or that you came ahead of what you, you come out ahead of what you had when you came in. For me, that's prosper. So I would probably read that scripture and say that and just meditate on that a, a minute. And throughout the day, until you get to that casino, I would stay in that energy, that energy of being prosperous, of winning. It's all, That's what the universe recognizes. It recognizes. It recognizes energy. And then the follow through with the declaration of your words. And then as you flow in that energy, it has no other choice but to respond. Right? So now let's get to the nitty gritty. So you've done that. You've prepped yourself for the day. You know you're going to go to the casino. You know you're going to go to your favorite slot machine or table or whatever it is. Now you're at the casino. What do you do? And so I would suggest, and it's, uh, this is something that I picked up in my readings along the way, um, Job 20 and 18. And so what you want to do is you want to, the money that you have, or if you just want to open up your wallet or maybe over the the whatever money you're about to put into that slot machine. So let's say you go to the ATM, you get your cash out. That cash, I would be all day or for the time that I have it in my hands saying this money is blessed. This money is reciprocal. It's going to give me back more than what I put in. That sort of thing. I thank you because money is energy. That paper doesn't mean jack. It's the exchange of it that gives it its energy. Money is energy resonate and align with the energy it, money i appreciate you you take care of my bills you're here when i need you thank you and as i put you in this slot machine i'm looking for you and i am counting on you to give me a return i thank you thank you money that if it's for me that it will happen today so you want to say that while you've got that money and then the next thing that you want to do is while you have that money in your hand or the tokens or the coins or whatever it is, say that verse of Job 20 and 18 over that money. And it reads, he hath swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again. God shall cast them out of his belly. That's that slot machine we're talking to, that it's going to swallow down the riches and he shall vomit it that back up. So it's going to spit that money back out and then some. And what do you do when you're vomiting? Usually you vomit more than just one time. So that's more. And that God will cast them out of his belly. So out of the belly of the machine comes the money. So that is what I would do. I wish all of you great luck today. I wish you great prosperity. I, I wish that you hit the jackpot. And above all, I wish you peace and safety in all that you do. May your goings and your comings be blessed. And don't forget, always remember to work the root. Have a good day. Ashe, ashe, ashe.